Good morning. It is Thursday, February 18th. I don't ever know the date. I am getting ready to go down to the Bay Area, Petaluma, to meet with my coach. Um, we're gonna go get some a leg workout in and some posing and just a check-in. And I packed all my meals ahead of time last night. With all my meal prep from the other day, I just put some avocado on some turkey patties and then I can just take it while I'm driving and just eat it. And I just eat it with my hands. Super classy. And then some bison with rice and zucchini. And then I just did the same thing for those meals. So. What is that? But what is that? What is that? Eh. So, okay. I just, every, I want to tell you guys, like, every time I am driving, every time I'm doing cardio, every time I am cleaning house, when I do, um, anytime that I'm doing anything, meal prep, whatever, I am learning. I don't listen. Yes, I love music and I listen to music when I lift weights, but I am learning every chance I get. I'm listening to podcasts. I'm um, listening to things on YouTube. I'm listening to anything that I can find related to success, uh, law of attraction, um, uh, visualization, flow, um, all these these things that I'm learning about. That's um, I just learn, and I encourage you guys to do that. Uh, you know, instead of watching Netflix and putting mindless shit into your subconscious, meaningless garbage, um, learn. Put, you know, you guys want to know how to lift? Fucking learn about it. Google it. Um, you know. It, you can, we live in a world of information, you know, ignorance is a choice. So, uh, with having said that, I highly recommend you guys reading The Compound Effect. Everybody needs to read that book by Darren Hardy, I'll put it below. I read it multiple times. Uh, it talks about everything and you can apply, it's about business and success and whatnot, but it's also about life and you can also apply it to fitness and every aspect in your life. It will make you better. Um, I recommend that book, uh, The Magic of Thinking Big. Um, what else? Uh, no Excuses. The Secret. It's amazing. It literally will change your life and the way you think and the way you look at things. If you're ready to absorb the info. Um, when I, I, a year ago, two years ago, I wouldn't have gotten what I got out of it now. You have to be ready. I'll link it all below. But um, there's so many good books out there, and there's you can literally. This is how I've been. I've changed my thinking is by reading, by learning, by gaining the knowledge that I I, I had this huge awakening um, uh, in September, right before my show last year. Uh, I learned about the law of attraction and about manifesting my dreams, and I started making dream boards, and I started. Um, really like I started meditating to the, the best I can I don't think I can fully get in a full meditative state um, but I started meditating and visualizing closing my eyes and taking time for myself writing gratitude lists um, I write my dreams and my goals down daily I write my gratitude daily I I make you know I look at my dream board I, I touch it I feel it and Things are starting to come true that are on my dream board already. Um, it's pretty trippy. It's a it's a trip. You can literally manifest anything you want into your life with your thoughts. It's we're all energy, man, and it's just it's a powerful thing. Um, God, I get so excited about it. I I freaking canceled cable, and that was huge. That was hard to do. Um, I liked watching certain shows and and. Um, and I just realized after a while, I was just, you know, all that, I just, I don't want to fill my mind with that. I want to fill it with new things, learning, knowledge. So canceling cable was a big, 
a big game changer for me. I started getting a lot more accomplished in life once I canceled cable. So focus on reading and listening to self-development and or business and success books because that's what's gonna get you ahead in life, not fucking housewives of Orange County. You know what I'm saying? Like garbage, <laughs> garbage. So all the books that I've read um, and everything I've learned along this along the way, one of the biggest things every single successful person talks about um, is you have to surround yourself with the right people. Uh, that has been uh, also a game changer in my experience. Um, once I changed who I surrounded myself with is when things started to change. Um, you know, the people that I was surrounding myself still so excited for Friday night in the bars. I'm not the set, I'm not that person anymore. So you can't become a new person with the same old people dragging you down. You can't do it. You have to you have to surround yourself. I I only want to surround myself with people that are like-minded, have the similar goals in life that have things that I want, that I want to be like. Um you know, that's that's just it's science. That's just the way it is. So I have to, you know, I've it's been rough. I've had people get mad at me. I don't come to events anymore. I don't show up at things. I don't make the time for people, and they don't understand. And I hurt a lot of feelings. And I am sorry. <laughs> I don't I don't mean to hurt feelings, but I have to protect me, and I have to protect my lifestyle, and I have to protect my future, and and I have to be selfish, and that's, and I'm fine with that. I'm fine with it. I don't even feel bad. I've had people tell me that I think I'm too good for them, this and that. Well, um, my choices are just different than yours at this point, you know? Um, I, I don't know what else to say about that. Um, but all I know is that, you know, I, and this is including family. If, if you don't have supportive family, drop them. I don't give a fuck if they're your family. If they're not supporting you, your new life's healthy lifestyle and your goals, then you need to either sit down and have a serious talk with them or get rid of them. Because if they're, it's not worth even keeping around if, if, if it's toxic for you. You know what I mean? If someone's creating drama in your life, drop them. Don't ever talk to them again. You don't owe them an explanation. You don't at all. <laughs> drop them. They're toxic for you. You cannot have that in your energy. It's, if your spouse is bringing home Kentucky Fried Chicken every night and or whatever, and you're trying your best to change your life and get healthy for your children and for your family, and he's not being supportive or vice versa, then you need to have a talk with them and you need to just set them straight because they were being selfish. They are not helping you with your goals and why would you want to surround yourself with someone that isn't helping you with your goals or let alone goal oriented you know surround yourself with the right people it is so important I can't stress it enough surround yourself with people that have goals surround yourself with people that have aspirations and dreams and you will go farther get rid of them I didn't get uh, the rest of my foot the footage that I wanted the other day with my coach, um, it just it just didn't work out. We couldn't film in the gym, and um, it just didn't work out. So I got my rambles in on the way down, and that was it. Um, so right now, I'm going to show you guys how to make a macro-friendly pizza. Um, I'll show you guys the macros, I'll show you the ingredients, and I'll show you how you can still enjoy things in life to some degree. Uh, and then I'm gonna go get a workout in afterwards. It'll be my pre-workout fuel. Um, uh, currently I am five weeks out and I really gotta start cleaning up my diet at about four weeks out. I'll really go in strict and pretty bro-ish. It gets pretty bro, so. So I gotta mentally prepare myself for that. Um, it can be quite the challenge. Bikini competing is honestly the hardest thing I've ever done mentally in my life. Hands down, hardest thing ever, ever. <laughs> it's fucking hard. So anyways, um, yeah, so I'll show you guys how to make that. So here's what I'm gonna make the pizza out of. It's um, lavash bread, I get this at Trader Joe's. And turkey pepperoni, 
chopped olives because that's what I want on there. Um, Fat-free mozzarella and cheddar. Um, you can use whatever cheese you want, but I choose to do the fat-free chemical cheese because I don't want any fat in there. finished product you can choose to have whatever uh, whatever you want on your pizza this is just what I'm having because this is what fits um, preheat the oven to 415 and you're going to put it in for about 9 to 10 minutes at 415 So while that's cooking, I wanted to tell you guys that eating flexibly is is awesome because you can fill your macros with things that you want to make it fit and you can enjoy things in life while dieting. You can there's so many benefits to flexible dieting, but there's also disadvantages. And um that includes some of the foods that you may be putting in your body are are bloating you and kind of um, holding you back from reaching your goals So basically I know that this pizza is going to bloat me. I'm aware of that I know that that's going to happen because of all the sodium in the cheese I'm gonna be over my sodium goal for today, and I know what it's gonna do to me um, now I'm far enough out from my show where I can do that, but I won't be able to do that very 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 soon um, I want to go into my my fitness pal and show you guys that you shouldn't only be looking at carbs, fats, and proteins, um, but you should also, hold on, I'm waiting for it to, you should also be looking at other numbers. If you are plateauing and you can't lose weight and you don't understand why because you're meeting your carbs and your proteins and your fats each day, if you're not losing weight, then, well, go look at your other numbers. Okay, so that's everything, the lavash bread, the pizza sauce. Oh my God. I just realized I didn't put pizza sauce. I put tomato sauce on the pizza. <laughs> what in the hell am I thinking? <laughs> Anyways, there was supposed to be pizza sauce on there. Oh my lord, you guys. Okay, so there's supposed to be pizza sauce on there, and uh, I have my cheeses, my olives, and my turkey pepperoni. Um... Oh my god, I just cannot get over myself right now. I'm so <laughs> stupid. Okay, so yes, you're going to look at your carbs, proteins, and fats, of course. But one thing you really got to keep an eye on is your sugar levels, okay? Sugar makes you fat. Fat doesn't make you fat. Fat doesn't make you fat. Sugar makes you fat. And if you're consuming all of these, while flexible dieting, if you're consuming all of these products that have sugar a lot of high, like a high content of sugar and you don't even realize it, then your progress could very well be stalled because you're taking in too much sugar and not to mention that's really bad for your health. Um, uh, so look at your sugar levels, look at your sodium levels because that's really important. Look at your, uh, like your saturated fat. If you're getting a lot of, like if you're eating a lot of foods with saturated fat in it, then your body doesn't know how to process that like as well. So you need to back off on the fatty meats. You need to back off on whatever whatever is um, making your sodium levels higher, your sugar levels higher. Fix those numbers as well, and I guarantee you'll see results. Bring your sugars down, bring your sodium down, bring your saturated fat down, and meet your carbs, fats, and proteins, and I guarantee you'll see start seeing results again.
guys. Please like my videos and subscribe to my channel. I'll be having weekly content coming out. Um, let me know what you guys want to see. And why not? Honestly, I can't even tell the difference that it's, pizza, that it's tomato sauce and not pizza sauce. I promise. Still good though.